This is a formal context where objects and attributes are all the devices of 100. And we put across if uh, an object is a divisor of an attribute. So for, for instance, 4 is a divisor of 20. You can divide 20 by 4 and you get 5. So you have a cross, we have a cross here. Uh, but 4 is not a divisor of 10, so we don't have a cross here. 4 doesn't divide 10. Um, and this is the concept lattice of this formal context. It's very regular because the, the data is kind of very regular. And so this is the structure of the data in the form of the concept lattice. Now, let's try to reduce this formal context to keep only those objects and attributes that are necessary to obtain this structure. Well, first we need to identify objects that are um, irreducible. Actually, there's an easy way to do this if you look at the concept lattice. Um, in a concept lattice, we have some nodes labeled by objects. Well, in this concept lattice, all nodes are labeled by objects. Um, and it turns out that a, an object is irreducible if and only if there is exactly one edge that connects it from below to the rest of the lattice. So 4 is irreducible, but let's say 10 is not irreducible. 10 is a supremum of 2 and 5. And indeed, if we look into the formal context, um, so what's what is 10 prime? Well, 10 prime is the set of all attributes that 10 has. And these include 10, 20, 50, and 100. So exactly all the numbers that 10 divides, for which 10 is the divisor. And now let, let look at 2 and 5. Uh, 2, 5 prime is the set of all attributes shared by 2 and 5. So what are these attributes? Let's compute the intersection of this row and this row. The one that corresponds to 2 and the one that corresponds to 5. What do they have in common? So this is an attribute that 2 has but 5 doesn't. The same here. Here this attribute 5 has but 2 doesn't have. So we have this attribute shared by both, and this is 10. This attribute is also shared by both, 20. Oh, well, what else? This one, 50. And finally, this one, 100. And you see, it's exactly the same as 10 prime. So. It's the same set. So 10 is reducible because its intent can be obtained as the intersection of intents of 2 and 5. And you can see this in the lattice. We have uh, two downward arcs coming out of 10 from 2, 2 and 2, 5. So it's reducible. Okay, so let's use this principle to mark uh, objects that are irreducible. Now, one has no uh, arcs at all, has no downward arcs at all, so it's reducible. 2 is irreducible. 4 is irreducible. Uh, 5, where is 5? Five? 5 is irreducible. 10 is reducible. 20 is uh, also reducible because it's, uh, um, it's the intersection of 4 and 10. And uh, what else? 25 is irreducible. And uh, 50 is reducible and 100 is reducible because we have two arcs here. Actually, it, so the reducible, the irreducible objects are 2, 4, 5, and 25. And if you think a little bit, it turns out that reducible objects in this case are products of other different numbers. from the context. Oh, 
Well, with the only exception of one. So one is not a product of any uh, other numbers in this context, but all other reducible elements are. So 10 is the product of 2 and 5. 20 is the product of um, 5 and 4 and so on. So you can, and you can see this on the lattice. So 20 is the product of 4 and 5. So these two elements, so it's a supremum of these two elements. Um, now let's look at reducible attributes. Well, an attribute is irreducible if when you look at it, it's attribute concept. That is the concept labeled by this attribute, you can see only one arc that goes upwards. In particular here, 20 is irreducible because it has only one upward arc. So it's not an infimum of any other concept. So this concept is not the infimum of any other concepts. And the extent of 20 cannot be represented as the intersection of any other uh, attribute extents in the concept, in the context. Okay, so let's check all of them. One is not re irreducible, so one is reducible because we have two arcs. It's uh, the intersection of two and five. And uh, uh, two is also reducible. Four, four is irreducible, so we need four. Five is uh, reducible. 10 is reducible. 20 is irreducible. 25, where is it? 25 is... Uh, here, and it's irreducible, 50 is irreducible, and 100 is reducible. All right, so it turns out that in this case, reducible attributes are precisely uh, the greatest common divisors of other numbers. Well, with the exception of 100. So 100 is reducible, but it doesn't satisfy this property. Indeed. Um, so let's take some reducible element, 10 for instance. So 10 is the greatest common divisor of 20 and 50. And uh, for instance, 5 is the greatest common divisor of 10 and 25. So in this case, in this lattice, the greatest common divisor is the operation that corresponds to the infimum operation. And so if an element can be represented as a greatest common divisor of other numbers, then it's irreducible. Then it can be represented as the infimum of other nodes in this lattice. Okay, so now we have identified irreducible objects and irreducible attributes. Let's build our formal context. So the objects are 2, 4, 5, and 25. And the attributes are 4, 20, 25, and 50. And so 2 is a divisor of 4, a divisor of 20, not of 25, it's a divisor of 50. 4 divides 4, divides 20, divides nothing else. 5 divides 20, 25, and 50, and 25 divides 25 and 50. And that's the standard context of this, this lattice. And it's also a reduced version of this formal context. Well, the concept lattice of this formal context is exactly the same as this one, as the concept lattice of the original context, but now we have fewer labels because we removed some objects and some attributes. And so now it looks like this. All reducible objects have disappeared and all reducible attributes also have disappeared. We no longer have 20 as an object, 
because it's reducible, but we still have it as an attribute because as an attribute 20 is irreducible. As for 10, it, dis it has dissipated completely because it's reducible both as an object and as an attribute. Uh, what's important here is that we have obtained a context which is much smaller than the original context, but we still have the same concept letters. And in fact, yes, we have lost some of the information. We have lost all the information about the number 10, for instance. But if we want to keep it, there is a way to add some extra information to the reduced context so that we can restore the information about 10. What's important is that all other computations can be done with this smaller context. And so this can, in certain cases, lead to faster computations. And actually computation is what we're going to discuss next. So next, we're going to see, finally, how one can build a concept lattice out of a formal context.